Praise the Lord Church. Today's Bible meditation is taken from Jeremiah chapters 27 and 28 and Revelation chapter 22. If you're new to Living God family, a very warm welcome to you in Jesus' name. Hope this video will be a blessing to you as you hear and listen to the thoughts as we read through the Bible together. I encourage you to read the chapters during your personal devotion time and become recipients of listening to God's voice daily. Jeremiah chapter 27 verses 18 through 22. But if they are prophets and if the word of the Lord is with them, let them now make intercession to the Lord of hosts, that the vessels which are left in the house of the Lord, in the house of the king of Judah and at Jerusalem, do not go to Babylon. For thus says the Lord of hosts concerning the pillars, concerning the sea, concerning the carts, and concerning the remainder of the vessels that remain in the city, which Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, did not take, when he carried away captive Zechoniah, the son of Jehoiakim, king of Judah, from Jerusalem to Babylon, and all of the nobles of Judah and Jerusalem. Yes, thus says the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, concerning the vessels that remain in the house of the Lord and in the house of the king of Judah and of Jerusalem. They shall be carried to Babylon, and there they shall be until the day that I visit them, says the Lord. Then I will bring them up and restore them to this place. God the Almighty sent his prophets to prepare the people to repent and return to him from disobedience and idolatry. Prophet Jeremiah spoke the profound words from God to the people to intercede for the remains in the temple and prepare them to be restored in his appointed time. And God did restore in his time through the remnants to fulfill his redemptive plan. Yes, intercession is a must for every believer for the remnant to be brought back from Babylon to Jerusalem for restoration for God's people. Today, intercession is a must for body of believers to participate so that people's heart will be transformed. Refreshing times will come as people will come into the saving knowledge of Christ and thirsty hearts will be quenched from the river of life that is Jesus Christ to be with him for eternity in the new Jerusalem. May we stand in the gap, intercede for the lost to be found, spiritually dead to be awakened, and all our beings to be thirsty for the Lord, the bright morning star, the offspring of David, the Holy One, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. As we read in Revelation chapter 22, verses 16 and 17, I, Jesus, have sent my angel to testify to you these things in the churches. I am the root and the offspring of David, the bright and morning star, and the spirit and the bride say, Come, and let him who hears say, Come, and let him who thirsts come. Whoever desires, let him take the water of life freely. Praise be to our wonder-working God. In Jesus' name, Amen. Thank you for the privilege of your time in watching the videos and being part of Living God community. God bless you all abundantly as we are all created to be holy and happy in Christ Jesus. Amen.